mastermind your way to success. Today's success principle is all about forming your mastermind. And if you're not really too familiar with how mastermind works, then I'm going to try my best to do it justice because masterminds are very different. In this day and age, you have people in masterminds with thousands of people. Then you have the traditional masterminds where there's maybe six people and maybe you have a mastermind where there's literally one person and the rest of spirit. Masterminds can encapsulate so many different things that it can be quite easy to lose focus. So in this video, we're going to talk about how Jack Canfors describes masterminds and how to set up the most effective ones so that you can get the most out of them. Now, the whole benefit of a mastermind is combining minds so that you are held accountable to get the best results for you as an individual. So your goals are achieved in real time and you, you aren't always frustrated because the only person you're bouncing ideas off is yourself. Because in masterminds, you're having a collective of people really enhancing the experience. So you never feel like you're alone in this. And so let's get into it. I'm going to obviously go back to the book and refer to it. Because the mastermind that I'm in at the moment have got, has got thousands of people. And it's not necessarily the same format. It's it's completely different to what I'm about to describe to you now. So it's best I go back to the book because the other masterminds I've actually ever done are ones where I facilitated and that's, that's kind of biased. So let's let's get into success principle number 46, um, which is all about mastering your way to success with masterminds. Okay. So the idol size that Jack Hanford recommends is 12 people in a mastermind, 12. Um, and there's a way to conduct the meeting when you actually are collating this mastermind. So there's um, quite a few steps. So grab your pen. There's about seven steps. So the first step is to, which I love actually, ask for spiritual guidance by delivering an invocation. So requesting the group to be filled and surrounded with powerful spiritual energy is always going to make a mastermind um, experience just really grounded and centered on the highest versions of yourself, right? Um, if you don't have a spiritual belief, that's fine. It's about being filled and surrounded with light and with hearts to open to receive guidance from the higher power. Because the last thing you want in a mastermind is ego. You want to leave ego at the door and you want to be, you want to be really heart filled and centered because that's the experience that's going to help other people to be open and vulnerable and allow themselves to really be seen and heard so the first thing is to ask for spiritual guidance by delivering an invocation and the simple invocation i just said which is again we we ask now to be filled and surrounded with light and our hearts be open to receive guidance from the higher power all right as a sample second thing is to share what's new and good so it's always good to say like a check-in what, what i always in my groups i say what's a success like for you at the end of this session right but at the beginning of the session it's always good to bond and ask what's worked really well for you this week how can we what are you bragging about this week and then somebody comes up and they brag and so this is the same type of thing it's small successes um since the last meeting because you want to always take account of the things that are working really well and to stay in that high vibrational mode and personal energetic frequency of this is what's really good for me this is what really was successful for me this week and then the first step is to give maybe 10 15 minutes for each person put them in a hot seat only focus on them and their challenges and then how you can actually help them. So it's it's all about being very time effective and efficient with with it. So everybody gets a fair chance to speak as well. I mean, when I think about this now, I'm like, well, I have been in another mastermind um, with six figure coaches and where I did have the hot seat and I did speak my truth, but there wasn't all of this stuff. And this stuff would have made it much, probably much more enjoyable experience because there's times when you're in a hot seat and because that there wasn't maybe an open heart, an invocation in the beginning. Um, and because some people had more time than others, it didn't feel as though um, there was that balance. But 
that's me and my experience everyone's experience is going to be different so that's the first step so first step just to go back is to get the guidance um ask for guidance for the spiritual um ask for spiritual guidance rather second step is to share what's new and good with other members first step is to negotiate for time deciding what each time is allocation um how it starts how it begins so it's, it's almost like an agenda right the fourth step is to individual members speak while the group listens and brainstorm solutions so you're going to make sure that you've got time negotiated so knowing that each member gets 15 minutes maybe um to speak to talk about their problems so you, you have a clear agenda five minutes to open up 10 minutes to do um next steps for each member clear agenda so that you know what's going on and then you, step four is actually individual members actually speak they're saying i've lost i'm i'm lost at this new aspect of my business or i'm looking for an expert who can do this i'm i'm open to receiving 5k i'm not quite sure how that's going to happen in the next week um i need advice on how to scale um using bots all of these things are things that might come up or these topics are the things that might come up in the mastermind right um and again you've got time to explain people can get asked for clarification and then um it's time to for brainstorming and giving your ideas on how the person can overcome their solution their issues sometimes you're just asking a question right you're not even giving them the solution sometimes you're asking them a question so that you're pulling it out the solution that's within them okay and step number five is to make a commitment to stretch so once the members have had their time to present, discuss, brainstorm, and gain feedback, um, the timekeeper asks each member in turn to commit verbally to a next action that will move him or her forward towards the achievement of his or her goals. Um, so that's the commitment to stretch. So it's, it's almost like hearing the group saying, okay, what is it you're going to do? Hearing the group, this is what I'm going to, this is what I'm going to commit to. And then being held accountable for that. Number six, step six is to end with a moment of gratitude. So everybody will have an end prayer, saying thank you, um, you know, having a heart heart talk, which is principle number 49, which is coming up soon. Um, and then number seven is obviously to be accountable for the next week. So that when the next week comes and somebody says, I'm gonna be held accountable, I'm gonna be I'm going to commit to free calls next by next week, when it goes to the accountability piece. You're going to have that conversation and say, I did it, actually didn't flew three, I did six. And so it just help, It just makes sure that everybody is doing as much as they said that they, they are. And then obviously if a block comes up like I didn't do it, then you can challenge your 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 mastermind participant and ask out, ask what the real root of the issue is here. So that's, that's it. Those are the steps. And if you go to my blog page, I will actually write down all the steps. So the blog, blog site, um, website, yeah, the blog website, the URL, the post will be actually underneath this video in the description. <sighs> Got that out eventually. So you've got your mastermind, you know the structure of the mastermind. Um, there are a few more resources that you can use to life to even make this better. So obviously you've got accountability, being accountable at the end of every meeting um, to, for the next meeting, right? Um, but then having accountability partners between that seven day stretch or maybe it's a two week stretch so that you are being held accountable in, and being held in your container as well. Another couple of things are, according to this, other organisations help you with your mastermind. They provide local monthly support groups as well as meetings. Um, so there's the yeo.org, tech online and ypo.org. Again, I'll put the links below in my blog page. Now, these companies might still exist or might not. So do check them out. Um, I guess the point of this is though, when it comes to masterminds, Napoleon Hill probably said it best. When two or more can coordinate in spirit of harmony and work towards a definite objective or purpose, they place themselves in position for an alliance to absorb power directly from the greatest storehouse of infinite intelligence. So it's not like doubling your intelligence, right? 
because you're also calling in spirit. And this is the channel where we shift to and expand. So it's never going to be about linear thinking. And it just shows when, when it comes to being successful, it isn't just relying on your own strength either. There's an element of collaboration. And in mastermind groups, that is one of the things that they do really well. They collaborate their minds. They brainstorm ways for their, their colleagues, their peers to be held accountable and to get their goals and dreams with more ease. So if you have taken anything from this, anything, and even a little bit like, wow, I can call on from, for guidance and spirit. I can have a prayer. So it's almost at the bookend. Open up the ceremony, open up the mastermind ceremony with um, guidance and open to spiritual guidance from the highest form and inv invocation. And then the end part of it is the prayer of gratitude, knowing that you've got accountability for the next seven days. And then you've also got an accountability partner and you've got other resources that might help. There, there are, there's a tool to help with masterminding that I used yonkers ago. The price when I joined was free, then it went up to 199. So it's a really good tool and it helps you to stay accountable. But for now, you can always use tools like Zoom. And you can record those meetings. You can um, make those notes and you can put them in minutes after the agendas. But a little bit more admin work, you might not necessarily want to do that. But the point is, in order for you to be more accountable in your life, you need to start acting more responsible for your time. Because the old way of thinking will not create new possibilities. So now you know what to do with a mastermind. Now you know how to set one up. Your job, my job as well, is to go out there and create a mastermind. Actually, I've got I've got one. I need to structure like a mastermind so it's much more effective. So you might just need to tweak one. You might have be having weekly meetings with people and you're all working towards a goal individually and you're not even calling it a mastermind. You're just calling it like, you know, a weekly catch up with people that are maybe your colleagues and friends. So if you just need to tweak it so it's much more mastermind D, which is not a thing, then it will help you to, to, to bring in more power, more collective brain power, um, and also make sure that you are holding yourself accountable to the highest version of you. So do that, and you're even closer to your step of being successful because you would have done success principle number 46, which is all about masterminding your way to success. Again, thumbs this up, comment. Let me know what mastermind you are in. Um, let me know if you are planning on being in one or you've been on one before, what your experience has been. Because all of that matters, all of that, all of that helps to build the narrative of where you're going to go next. Where you are right now, where you want to be is what this book's about. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Comment, subscribe and like this video if it's helped you in any way. Thanks for watching.